Big waves are coming to the big island on this episode of Think Ocean! Woo! everybody, I'm Captain John, your host of Think Ocean. And before we get started on big waves here in Hawaii, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my subscribers and everybody who's supporting this channel. If you haven't done so already and you like the Think Ocean content, please consider subscribing or liking the video, sharing it with others who might be inspired or benefit from the knowledge of these Think Ocean video documentaries about the ocean. Our last video documentary was entitled The State of the State of Coral here in Hawaii. In that video we learned how coral lives and how coral dies. We also observed coral and we saw coral bleaching all over the course of five years here in Kona, Hawaii. And part two of that series will be coming out very soon. Also check out our other content. We got tiger shark documentaries, eels, dolphins, remote Indian Ocean atolls. We got tropical reef fish and of course coral. And now big waves. Big waves, Hawaii. Nalu means wave. Nui is big. Nalu, Nui. Right. In this video, I wanted to show you the progression of a swell, meaning I go down to the beach and I film. It's flat calm. And the next day, the waves come out of nowhere and just completely demolish the beach. For five straight days, I went down to the very same remote beach here in Kona, Hawaii, every sunrise and sunset and film the waves. So the wave segment scene of this film is about 10 minutes long. And at the end of it, I'm gonna take you on a dive to the Think Ocean Coral Gardens, which is located just offshore of the very beach that these waves are impacting. All right, so let's get into it and let's talk about waves. How are waves formed? In one single word, that word would be wind. Okay, wave height is determined by three factors of the wind. One is wind speed. The stronger the wind, the bigger the waves. Two is the duration of the wind, how long the wind blows. The longer it blows, the bigger the waves will be. And third is something called fetch. Fetch is how long the waves move across the water without being obstructed by land. The longer and farther that is, the bigger the waves will get. And that's why here in Hawaii, we get some of the biggest waves in the world. In the winter time in the Northern Hemisphere, up here in the Gulf of Alaska, and over here up by Russia, big low pressure storms brew, winds blow at maybe up to 80 miles an hour for weeks and weeks at a time. And they come across all this ocean, no fetch, no land, and they boom, slam right into Hawaii.
Welcome to the Think Ocean Underwater Coral Garden, located just offshore there at 50 feet. We're going to now go dive. Remember the video? Look how calm it is. Those waves were 15 to 20 feet. Big, huge surge underwater, moving around rocks, real big rocks, even at 50 feet. We're going to go see the impact on the garden now. This is video of the coral garden before the swell. I wanted to show you what it looked like so you can see the impact that these waves had at 50 feet. Because when I first saw the coral garden, I was amazed at the impact that the waves had. They really moved around a lot of rocks, a lot of debris, and a lot of sand. The rock pile that borders the coral garden hasn't moved in over two years when we first assembled it. Even though here in Hawaii we get very large waves all the time, albeit that last northwest swell was probably the biggest we've had in over five years. And here it is, my first view of the coral garden after the large northwest swell. And it looked like a hurricane had rolled through town. The rock border that surrounded the coral garden was literally blown away and allowed sand and debris to come in that it was supposed to keep out. It seems that it was mostly the large amount of sand that came in and covered some of the delicate corals that we had been trying to grow and propagate. The rocks of the border as well became debris, just like in a hurricane, debris is flying everywhere. So here's another view of the coral garden from just a few weeks ago. We started this coral garden over two years ago in 2018, when small baby corals started to appear on the reef after most of them had died in a massive coral bleaching event that occurred here in Hawaii in 2015 and 16. We set about scooping away the sand from the larger Posilopora species, which were primarily affected in the coral bleaching event of 2015 and 16. And we found them not well, but not broken. The finger type corals had branches that were broke off, but overall they were in fair condition. So we set about clearing the area of debris and sand and putting the rock pile border back in its place. And so here's another view from before the swell of our main piece of coral called Posilopora meandrina. It's commonly known as cauliflower coral. And here it is now. Remember from the State of the State of Coral Part 1 that bleached is not dead. It is, however, on the verge of dying. So we'll be keeping our eye on this one particular piece of coral and see if it becomes healthy again and looks like it once did. It will be very interesting and we hope that you stay tuned to Think Ocean to follow the epic journey and struggles of coral here in Hawaii. Aloha.